Hello everyone, I'm Ella McKegg with McKegg's Movie Mayhem, and this week I'm going to be doing the movie review for the Super Mario Brothers movie. Where am I? <laughs> Ooh, fresh meat for the grinder. Pay him no heed. He is cute, but he is. There's gotta be a way out of here. There's no escape. The only hope is the sweet relief of death. Whoa! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! <laughs> Now, the Super Mario Brothers movie is the newest video game adaptation, and it is adapting the Super Mario Brothers games. This is the second attempt at a movie adaptation, the first one being all the way back in 1993. So it's very appropriate that 30 years later we get the newest adaptation, and this time it is animated. And I have to say, this movie was a lot of fun. I was in my screening, there were a lot of kids there, so it was a lot easier to get a gauge on if the movie would be enjoyable for kids because a lot of the kids in the audience were really big fans of what was happening on the screen and they really enjoyed it and I think that really helped my experience watching it as well hearing all the kids having a good time while watching the movie and it was just fun it, the movie is a fun movie and the plot if you want to know the plot it's very simple it's Bowser has to be defeated by Mario, Peach, Luigi and friends that is the plot. It's just like a plot of a Super Mario Brothers video game, in my opinion. And a lot of people that I've seen online sort of like count that. Some people have counted that as a negative criticism. I don't actually see that as a negative criticism. I think if you would have probably tried to add too much story, that may alienate some people because then you're adding more backstory to characters that really don't have a lot of backstory and so you're just creating a lot of stuff however me watching it and them having just hints of backstory where you can sort of make up their full backstory yourself I feel like that was a good idea because very much when Mario gets into the Mushroom Kingdom there's already sort of a mini war between Bowser and the Mushroom Kingdom so all that's already pre-established in the in that universe before Mario even gets there so you're very much joining Mario's point of view where this is all new to you and you're just trying to gather up as much information as you can like Mario is in talking about Mario I think Pr Chris Pratt did a really good job as Mario sure he didn't do the wahoo let's -a go voice the entire time but it was him performing as Mario was something that would sort of make sense in the quote unquote real world. Like this is how Mario would really talk. And Charlie Day as Luigi also did a great job as, as the character. And Anya Taylor-Joy did a really good job as Princess Peach. She's very much playing the character that's been doing this for a long time. So she has a little bit more experience. And she, I believe Anya Taylor-Joy when she plays that character. However, I cannot stress enough how Jack Black as Bowser is the best performance of the entire movie. Jack Black knew exactly what type of character Bowser was. He understood exactly all of his motivations and he gave one heck of a performance. I really think that everyone should go out and watch this just so they can see Jack Black perform on screen as Bowser because he is really good and something I never thought I'd see and you can consider this a spoiler or not but Jack Black has said this in interviews, there are little bits of moments of his character that are musical in nature. And so also you have Jack Black, so that just means with what Jack Black said about Bowser and just him being Jack Black, that just means one thing. Bowser has a musical number in the movie and it's a lot of fun and I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it. I know the entire theater when I was watching it, they were laughing as the song was happening. I was laughing and smiling. It's such a fun little moment. And I do think, and though I wasn't criticizing like negatively towards it having a simpler, simple plot, I think there were some moments of it where I think, oh, this could have been expanded on just a little bit, or this could have been expanded on just a little bit, but only a few hints of things I don't really want to mention because that could be come off as a spoiler, even though I did the um, Bowser thing. But overall, I think this movie is really great. There are, are really good, not not really up there in the great mark, but it is a really good movie. And I think a lot of kids are going to enjoy this movie based off of 
the reaction I got from when I was watching it. So overall, I give this movie a three and a half out of five stars, a seven out of 10. Next week, you have two movies to choose from because I'm gonna be putting out a poll and you get to determine what two scary movies I'm gonna be watching. I'm either gonna be watching the vampire horror film, it's not really a horror, there's a lot of comedy in it, but the vampire film Renfield, or if I'm gonna be watching the supernatural horror film, The Pope's Exorcist. I'm gonna be putting that in a poll on Twitter and is gonna be going on our on the article for this on the website. So if you wanna go over, determine what movie I'm gonna be watching, just head over to WBBJTV.com. Try to find McKegg's Movie Mayhem, the Super Mario Brothers movie review, and you can vote in that poll. Also, again, it'll be on the WBBJ TV Twitter handle as well. But with all that being said, I have been Elon McKegg with WBBJ7 Eyewitness News, and I hope you all remember to watch movies. <laughs>